Hi there, students. OK, here we've got another essay. Um, I'm going to mark it at C2 level. It just says, write an essay on the topic of euthanasia. 320 to 350 words. OK, so euthanasia. This argumentative essay was written by Roland Simon. Whether government should implement euthanasia or prohibit it, is an open to a debate so is open to debate something is open to debate this is something is open to debate this is the phrase that you should be using i really like this start with a weather because you've got two different possibilities implement it or prohibit it <laughs> while advocates of this idea, good word, regard it as mercy killing. Others um, are vehemently object to it for different reasons. So, let's see. While advocates of this idea regard it as mercy killing, okay, you can't use a semicolon here it's because of the while because this n both of these bits need to be a full sentence when using a semicolon so le let me just do the second bit others vehemently object to it for different reasons so this part, others object to it, uh, to it, others vehemently object to it for different reasons. Um, this is a full sentence and valid. To keep the um, semicolon, you need to take out the while. Advocates of this idea regard it as a mercy killing. Semicolon. That's a, um, others vehemently object to it for different reasons. If you put the while, you need a comma. So which do I like more? I like the semicolon more because it's more interesting. So advocates of this idea and then the colon. I'm going to delve into this issue. I love this word delve. First and foremost, the adversaries of this method, it's not a method, of this concept. I'm sorry, I haven't been writing it in uh, capital letters. First and foremost, the adversaries of this concept, of this um, idea, of this moral, I'm um, okay, of this concept, um, disapprove. So, what's the re the dependent pre preposition? Disapprove of euthanasia because of their religious conviction. And they firmly believe that any kind of murder is immoral. Well done with this and. You've taken two sentences, you've joined them together very nicely. God has the only entity to give, li to give life and take it. So not God has. God is the only entity to give life or to and take it. Yeah. Doctors should heal in lieu of ki killing. Yeah. God is yeah. God is the only entity to give life and take it. Semicolon fine. Doctors should heal in lieu of killing. Good. You've joined two sen two short sentences very nicely. They state their stark opin opinions that euthanasia is actually a euphemism for murder. Good. In addition to this, they highlight that accepting one legal killing might act to encourage a large number of new cases, which is redolent of the dark days of mankind, where witch hunts were prevalent. OK, the, I like this sentence a lot. It's a nice long one, and I like this where clause at the end. According to archaeologists, the Spartans threw off bleh, disabled and ill infants of Mount Tagatus to death. So, no, this threw off ne needs to go in a different place. 
according to archaeologists, the Spartans threw disabled and ill infants off Mount Tigetus to their death. So ill. Let's, let's use the word sickly. So according to archaeologists, the Spartans threw disabled and sickly infants off Mount T Tigetus to their death. The healthy, so, the healthy and able-bodied people were, were, were raised as daredevil warriors. So let's join, the, the, join these two together again. According to archaeologists, the um, Spartans dis, uh, threw disabled and sickly infants off Mount Tagadus to, the, to their death. Comma, while, while, the healthy and able-bodied people were raised as daredevil warriors. Fortunately, everyone's life is respected today. We uphold the rights of elderly, of the elderly, the group, and severely sick babies. Okay, good, good, good. I like this a lot. I like this semicolon. You're, 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 you're using it today with a vengeance, and that's great. Moreover, people might have ulterior motives. They may urge doctors to carry out assisted suicide on their, on their relative. So they, this is plural, on their relatives. To get a large inheritance into their hands. Uh, so to get so that a large inheritance passes into their hands <laughs> this is not a correction it's just an improvement there was nothing wrong with what you'd written it just sounds a lot better and a lot more formal with this uh, so that a large inheritance instead of passes, might pass into their hands. I'm using the might here because this is a word that looks great in these essays um, and people try to avoid it. So I want may and might the same as you're doing with the uh, semicolons as well. Deciding over a person's fate who is in the most debilitating condition, in a, un, incapable to form any kind of opinion, is totally unacceptable. So firstly, incapable of forming. Are forming. Okay, this sentence doesn't hold together. So deciding over a, 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 a person's fate, comma, choosing who is in the most debilitating Choosing who is in the most debilitating state and incapable of forming any kind of opinion is totally unacceptable. That reads a lot better. Deciding over a person's fate, choosing who is in the most debilitating state. I think I might use debilitated probably sounds better, Delibid debilitated state and incapable of forming any kind of opinion <coughs> is totally unacceptable. Performing euthanasia is clearly against the Hippocratic Oath, which can tarnish the reputation of the modern medical field of 
the modern medical field. Secondly, euthanasia is used as a last resort. When the agony is unbearable and there is no hope, a patient s seeks euthanasia legally in some countries, such as the Netherlands, in countries such as the Netherlands. Providing that every individual has the uh, the individual the has the inalienable 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 right to die with dignity. I love this inalienable comes from the American Constitution. The inalienable right. So, secondly, euthanasia is used that when the agony is unbearable and there is no hope. A pa patient seeks euthanasia legally in some countries, such as the Nether Netherlands. So, instead of that providing, in the Netherlands, where they believe that every individual has the a a inalienable right to die with dignity. I like that a lot. Despite the most sophisticated cutting-edge treatment and the most knowledgeable ex uh, expertise, incurable sicknesses are here with us. Let's just try it. So, are here with us. So, are... There's nothing wrong here with us, it's just a bit weak. Are ever present. Not only does good, not only does euthanasia hasten the terminally ill patient towards death, but it also reduces the amount of t their amount of time suffering. It also reduces their am their amount of time. So it also reduces. I'm going to put it this a different way. It's like just an improvement. The amount of time <coughs> they suffer. They consider euthanasia is a bliss by virtue of the fact it is able to pre free. No off a patient from pain. Comma, immeasurable pain. They consider, but okay, is a bliss. Yeah, is works, but make it more formal. To be. They consider euthanasia to be a bliss by virtue of the fact that it is able to free. Um. A patient from pain, immeasurable pain. This sounds very literary, this extra addition at the end. Strict laws ought to be implemented in order to prevent abuse of these practices. In conclusion, euthanasia is a very polemic issue in our modern society. Many people unceremoniously refuse it. Refuse it, comma based on their religious faith or humane belief. Their religious faith or humane belief sounds better. However, some people raise their voices to promote dignity, to promote the dignity and autonomy of dying patients. Okay, I like this essay a lot. Um, most of my, my my correct my changes are not corrections; they're improvements. It reads very nicely. So you answered the question, but it's difficult not to answer the question if you write about the same thing. Cohesion and, co uh, and cohesiveness. I love the way you've started with some uh, semicolons. That is absolutely great. Try and throw in a few mates and mys and mate. Uh, maize and mites. Um, 
keep trying to get some sort of passive subjunctive into it. It, it, it. it will look good from an exam point of view. Your sentences are getting much longer and holding together much better. Yeah, um, There is much less here that is mm, difficult for me to understand. So cohesion, cohesiveness, I think probably definitely a 4, 4.5, 4.25. Um, the vocabulary, as always, is great. Yeah, daredevil assisted. Um, I think 4.5 in the vocabulary. You're, you're, you're starting to use moreover according to, which also gives it a lot more, uh, it makes it read better. I think how adventurous is the structures? Well, I probably did that. Um, 4, 4.25. Um, silly mistakes. Silly mistakes have dropped dramatically. The mistakes are not uh, impinging on the understanding of this, and that's really good. I think probably four, four and a quarter. Yeah, so I think overall I'm going to give this 8.5 at uh, CPE, which is going to give you an A grade. Yeah. Um, you still need to keep reducing the, 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 these little bits, but it's, it, this is starting to sound much more uh, natural and fluent. Okay, so well done.